Now at 730, turning negative into positive. How four puppies born after a dog seizure case in Richmond are joining the ranks with RPD. Plus, triple crown contender, a three-year-old defying all odds now on the verge of history. Will Justify pull off a stunning victory to become the 13th triple crown winner in history? And they're golden. The Warriors clinch past Cleveland in game four of the NBA Finals to win their third straight title in four years. We have all the highlights and reactions as celebrations get underway. On your side, this is NBC 12 News Today. Thanks for staying with us on 12 News Today Saturday here with meteorologist Megan Wise. And it is a first alert weather day, even though you may see some sunshine first thing this morning. Absolutely. If you want to get out and get some things done this morning, even the first part of the afternoon, I think for the most part, we are fine and looking mainly dry. It's late afternoon, evening. That's the time frame we'll really be paying close attention to. Not everyone will see it, but scattered showers, thunderstorms, especially this evening and especially north of town, it looks like. But there is that chance an isolated strong storm could develop and with that it would produce some heavy rain and some strong gusty wind so something we'll keep a close eye on as we go through the evening time frame tonight and along with not just showers and storms it's going to feel humid and very warm later this afternoon this morning we're warm as well bowling green jes weather net site 71 degrees factor in the humidity feels more like the mid 70s this morning ashland right now same for you low 70s feels more like 76 degrees and woodlake at millwood school 70 72 degrees is your current temperature. We still see some upper 60s south and west of town. Farmville right now in the upper 60s. Farmville down towards South Hill. You're at 68 degrees. And first alert Doppler radar is quiet despite seeing some clouds this morning. We stay mainly quiet through the morning. It's the late afternoon evening time frame. That's when some scattered showers and storms develop. So keep your NBC 12 weather app handy if you are out and about today. A lot going on. High temperature 88 degrees. Still very warm tonight. 7 o'clock we're in the low 80s. We'll time those showers and storms out for you for tonight and also take a look at some unsettled weather for us tomorrow coming up here in just a bit. Jasmine. Thanks, Megan. Right now we want you to take a close look at your screen. You might be able to help authorities find a missing teenager. 17 year old Alexis Williams hasn't been seen since January. She's from Fluvanna County, but investigators believe she could be in the Richmond area. We're told Williams is five foot seven and she has several tattoos. Call the Fluvanna County Sheriff's Office if you know something that could help them in their search. And a happy update on a missing Ashland teen. Police say 14 year old Jacob Shelton is home safe now. He had been missing since Sunday when he went to a friend's house and never came back. But good news, he's back home. VCU police make an arrest in a sexual battery case on campus earlier this week. Police say the man in these surveillance photos, 27 year old Jamel Johnson, grabbed a woman by the rear as she was walking on Broad Street near Laurel. An officer on duty was able to recognize Johnson walking on Gray Street wearing the same clothes as the June 3rd incident. Police say Johnson is not affiliated with the school and he's been charged with assault. Two bear cubs are being cared for at the Wildlife Center of Virginia. The cubs and their mothers wandered into someone's backyard in Amherst County. Game officials say the homeowner shot the bear or the mother bear with what he thought was a rubber buckshot, but it was actually a regular buckshot. So the mother was killed. The cubs will stay at the Wildlife Center until April of next year and they will be re-released into the wild. Now to the search for a man accused of abusing animals. We told you about the big raid on Joseph Meyer's business back in March, and now he's wanted on charges of animal cruelty. But as that search goes on, there is some good news in all of this. The puppies born after that raid are getting ready for a special assignment with the Richmond Police Department. Karina Bolster has the story. Richmond Animal Care and Control says these pups came out of an abusive situation, but they're excited to see how they could potentially be tracking down the bad guys in the future. We're looking at training them to be drug narcotic canines, so passive narcotic dogs um, sniffing for marijuana, cocaine, heroin, ecstasy, meth. This is a unique situation for the canine unit. They typically get dogs who are at least one year old and ready to start the training program. But these 12 week old Belgian Malinois pups are breaking the barrier and saving taxpayer money because of being donated to the team. If we go through a vendor, um, it can cost anywhere from five to seven grand for a dog. 
Richmond Animal Care and Control provides anything monetary. So all of the food, all the vaccines, everything that these dogs need in their care until they are tested and proven um, will remain in, in our care so that the police department doesn't have to shoulder any of that burden. Peter says these puppies came out of a sad situation, born following a raid of the animal motel owned by Joseph Myers. Myers faces charges of animal cruelty and failing to provide care. RACC is searching for him. It's so beautiful that we remove them from a really bad situation and then they may become dogs that will help in the future control other bad situations. Hopefully develop it early with them, introduce them to some sense, kind of work on their hunt drive. Now these pups still have a long way to go with their training, but the officers here with the Richmond Canine Unit are excited to see how it all pans out. On your side in Richmond, Karina Bolster, NBC 12 News. Richmond's canine unit says by the time these puppies are ready for the official training program, some of the veteran canine officers on the force will be ready for retirement. Today, all eyes on a three year old on the verge of history, trying to do what only a dozen of the greatest have done when horse racing's triple crown justify having already captured the Kentucky Derby and the Preakness. So many now hoping for a storybook ending at the Belmont. He will face familiar opponents in his quest, including Bravazzo, Hofberg and Vino Rosso. Coverage of the 150th Belmont Stakes begins at four right here on NBC 12. Well, trending this morning, the Golden State Warriors are back to back to back champions. Last night, they defeated the Cleveland Cavaliers 108 to 85 in game four of the NBA Finals. The Warriors swept the Cavs in four games to zero in the series, making this their third win in four years. And the celebration did not stop there. Dub Nation could be seen spilling out of watch parties in California. The Warriors will return back to Oakland today with trophy in hand and a championship parade is expected to take place on Tuesday. It's a busy weekend in the River City and one of the things going on is a big effort to clean and protect the James. The Festival of the River celebrates the James, but it also brings the community together with music, art and educational opportunities. After the community cleanup, you can enjoy performances from the Richmond Symphony on Browns Island and you can learn more about the festivities on 12abouttown.com. Usually the order is graduate from high school, then graduate from college, but that won't be the case for two Petersburg teens today. They will have their associate's degrees in hand by the time they get their high school diplomas. The two shared with Kendall Davis what made this all possible. This is an iconic duo right now. There's nothing like a best friend. <laughs> <laughs> who can make you a better person. If I didn't have Tony, I probably wouldn't have the grades that I have. Amaya Cornvalis and Antonio DePirio White are Petersburg High School seniors getting ready to graduate on Saturday. The two became best friends in the 10th grade, and since then, they've stuck by each other's side. Tony set my schedule up and everything. Like Tony said, Maya, you need to do this by this day. Like, Maya, did you get this work done? So it would only make sense for the two friends to reach for the same goal, earning a college degree while still in high school. I was like, oh, it would be a nice opportunity for me since I have to go to school for a long time. So I didn't have to pay for like two years. So when the opportunity came knocking, I opened the door. They were accepted into the middle college program. Petersburg Public Schools and Richard Bland College enrolled qualified high school juniors into college level math and English courses. So students can earn a high school diploma and an associate's degree at the same time. It's helped these two friends prepare for their future. Like I know set in stone, like this is what I want to do. And it's just nice that I have a foundation for myself and focus on their career goals. I would like to get my master's in psychology so I can get my license to become a clinical psychologist. I want to work at the FBI headquarters, be a forensic scientist there, like the lead forensic scientist. In Petersburg, <laughs> Kendall Davis, NBC 12. No doubt they will achieve all of their goals. Amaya will be attending Hampton University and Antonio will stay close to home at VCU this fall and we wish them the best. Sandra Bullock returns to the big screen this weekend in the latest Oceans franchise. Coming up next on 12 News Today Saturday, a preview of Oceans 8 and other movies out at the box office. Plus, Kentucky Fried What? How a popular chicken chain is catering towards vegetarians. And Megan, what are you working on? Looking at our ABC 12 Skycam picture, it's a quiet start seeing some sunshine and some clouds this morning. That'll change those ago, especially into the evening tonight. We'll take a look at the hour by hour forecast coming up here after the break.
Good morning, Tarnow. 747. We are looking at a first alert weather day for today. Time frame wise, late afternoon and evening could see an isolated strong storm. Main concern will be some strong gusty winds and heavy rain. Looks like we say unsettled for tomorrow as well. Scattered showers and storms are looking likely afternoon and evening as well to end the weekend and looks pretty summer like as we look ahead to next week. Temperatures hot. Humidity will be on the higher end and showers and storms will be a daily occurrence as we go through the afternoons and evenings next week. Here's a look at the Storm Prediction Center where we're seeing that marginal risk of seeing an isolated strong storm just about all of northern Virginia and does clip a portion of our area, Caroline County. Spotsylvania County, even Western Hanover County, almost all of Goochland County, Louisa County, Orange County, all in that marginal risk. So make sure you have your NBC 12 weather app handy if you are out and about this evening, maybe headed to dinner or you're going to a baseball game. Just be aware that we could see a few showers and an isolated strong storm possible. None of that though early this morning, seeing some sunshine on our NBC 12 Skycam picture. Temperatures at the airport, 71 degrees. Winds have been calm just about all morning. Dew points though remain high. So whenever you see these numbers, in the upper 60s, that's a good indication then that it is already feeling muggy this morning and it'll stay that high as we go through the day today. Some of our neighborhood temperatures low 70s from Springfield Park to Lakeside. The near West End right now 71 degrees. Regency Square 72 degrees and down towards Chesterfield County, Clarendon, Swift Creek Middle School, Deer Run, Spring Run all at that 70 degree mark. So a warm start to the day. It will be a very warm afternoon. High temperatures above average in the upper 80s. First alert Doppler radar again quiet. So that'll change though. If you want to get some things done this morning, I think you're fine. You're in good shape. Even a good portion of the afternoon does look mainly dry. We'll start to see some scattered showers though developing late afternoon. Here we are at 530. Not everyone's going to see this, but do be aware. Scattered showers, few thunderstorms possible as we make our way through the evening. And then that looks like it fades away starting dry tomorrow morning afternoon and evening tomorrow though here we are at four o'clock seeing some scattered showers and again a few thunderstorms could produce some heavy rain with a few of those storms and then that activity continues as we go into tomorrow night as well next 12 hours for us today low 80s at 11 o'clock look for mid 80s by two o'clock rain chance picking up to about 50 percent by eight o'clock tonight again high temperature 88 degrees we'll start tomorrow morning similar to this morning low 70s any showers and storms diminishing late tonight and then a a look ahead to tomorrow, low 80s for the high, showers and storms afternoon and evening, and then a few lingering showers Monday morning could impact your Monday morning commute. A little cooler in the afternoon in the upper 70s. Still looking though at some showers and storms afternoon and evening on Monday. Temperatures warming right back up by midweek. We're close to 90 degrees both Wednesday and Thursday. Jasmine. Thanks, Megan. Caught on camera, two baby moose causing a traffic nightmare on an Alaska highway. The two and their mother got onto the road from the nearby woods and they backed up traffic for miles trying to make it up and over the median. Mama and one sibling made it across just fine, but one baby couldn't make it. That's when some drivers got out of their cars to try to help the lone calf. Next thing you know, one person gets out of their car and I was like, oh, you're dumb. You're dumb. Here we go. So that's when I whipped the camera out. I was like, this is going to be interesting. It was. Eventually, they were able to corral the little guy and get him over the median where he met up with the mama moose. But get this, by doing their good deed, they were actually breaking the law. The Department of Fish and Game says while helping out wildlife may seem like a great thing, it's best to leave it to the professionals. Thankfully, no drivers nor moose were hurt in all of this. Sheriff deputies in Florida make a surprising discovery while arresting a stolen car suspect. They found a monkey. The sheriff's office shared this video showing a capuchin monkey climbing onto a man's shirt. Deputies were arresting that man for allegedly stealing a car and crashing it into a ditch. The suspect went downtown and the monkey went to a primate sanctuary. The man did not have the proper pro permit. A Pennsylvania high school student will graduate this weekend with a rare accomplishment. Angel Hunting takes her responsibilities as a student very seriously. So seriously, the senior has never missed a day of school since kindergarten. That's 13 years of perfect attendance. Hunting says it's been a goal since she had she's had since sixth grade when she re realized she'd never missed a day of school. That's just what I do. I get up and I do it. There's not many people that do attain this goal and I just wanted to be one of the few to actually complete it. What an accomplishment. The district honored hunting during senior awards night with a pen and get this. She even came to school one day after spending the entire night in the hospital. 
A 10 year old boy from Florida is on a mission to thank police officers across the country. Tyler, affectionately known as Donut Boy, wants to thank all 900,000 officers in America by hand delivering them donuts. Ryan Dean shares his story. Tyler Karash may not be a superhero, but the kid known as Donut Boy is certainly doing something heroic, and that deserves a cape. The 10 year old from Florida and his mother are traveling around the country with a simple message to police officers. I want them to know that they're still appreciated. That appreciation comes with a treat officers are known to love. <laughs> hey, you know, we're all in for a donut, okay? <laughs> hey, thanks, buddy. Hey, hey. Tyler's learning these donuts carry special weight. Hey, if anything is I can do for you, like if you want to, you know, if you want to speed or something, I know you don't drive yet. But... Thank you all for your service. Thank you. The donut journey started nearly two years ago when Tyler saw sheriff deputies at a convenience store and decided to buy them donuts. When I gave them to them, they were really excited and happy. And um, when I was leaving, I asked my mom, why were they so happy over a snack? Because they get snacks all the time. I explained that it was not about the snack. It was the fact that he took the time to appreciate them. That conversation with his mom gave Tyler an idea to give every cop in America a donut. So Tyler has made stops in 32 different states, and during that time, he has handed out more than 65,000 donuts to police officers. His goal, all 50 states and 900,000 donuts. You know, that's a really big goal, so um, I would say at this point that nothing is impossible. High five. Um, we'll just keep this going until Tyler tells me that he is done. Tyler's not ready for the mission to be complete, but he is ready for a new snack. I don't want to eat a donut again in my life. <laughs> Remember, you can find your latest news and weather updates on our website, NBC12.com. And we'll be right back with a final look at your forecast. All right, one last look at your forecast. If you're just waking up this morning, we have a first alert weather day. You can see all of the counties here in green. Marginal risk of seeing an isolated strong storm possible, mainly during the evening hours tonight. Scattered showers and a few thunderstorms more likely late afternoon evening. This morning looking mainly dry. It will be a, a very warm and humid day. We'll be in the low 80s at 11 o'clock, 2 o'clock mid 80s. High temperatures this afternoon will top out at 88 degrees. Just make sure you have your NBC 12 weather app. There's a lot going on. You'll get any alerts and you can look at the radar right there on your on, on the app. On your phone. That's all the time we have. Remember, there's no 6 o'clock news tonight because of the Belmont Stakes, so we will see you back here tonight at 11. Have a great day.